All right, another base image similar to Motion Blue. This is the Team ZT and P Dark. Uh, image. There's uh, some downloaders, some extra features. It does come with a track mode as well. As you can see, it starts with a carbon theme. It's fairly optimized. It does work with the brand new Raspberry Pi B+. Plus. And it's also backwards compatible. Once you get it for the B+, Plus, you should be able to work it with the old Pi 3 as well. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna build the image really quick, show you some of the features, get it working, and just see how it runs. Uh, but this is very basic. Get the image, load it up, and it works. All right, here we are on a brand new Team ZT build for the brand new Raspberry Pi. Um, it says it has six games on here. Okay, so it has a Quake 3 Arena port, Quake port, Cody port, Cannonball pre-installed, sounds all the way up. Um, this is Stretch, so this is running on the brand new Raspberry Pi 3 B+. Plus. So this is the 1.4 gigahertz. This is a stock clock build. And I uh, just want to show you another option for a base image. Now, um, if you missed my previous videos, there is some issues with this version of RetroPie, especially with Nintendo 64. I did some more research. What I was running into my issues is happening to a lot of other people as well. So this probably won't be the final build, but this build is really nice. And uh, it has all the same scripts that um, the Motion Blue version 6 has, the bezel scripts, background music, things like that, the Genesis one. Uh, but it's kind of a stripped down version. Uh, it still has the um, background music as well. It's stripped down meaning it just doesn't have the Hursty Blue installed, but everything else should be very similar. Now, um, this is really easy to get started. All you need to do is plug your Pi into the network and start drag and dropping games over the, over the network. Um, I believe this also has the Team ZT installer on here. Yeah, it does. That basically allows you to pre-install a lot of stuff. Let's start Atari 2600. Those download speeds are definitely nice. All right, we're back in. Oh, and we got Atari. Nice. All right, so that's working with the box art. I also added some Nintendo 64 games. Did not put the Oc box art over. I added Neo Geo. All right, PlayStation's working. Wipe out. Sound seems to be working. Alright, this is working good. Oh, whoa, whoa, there's some like strafing. Oh, okay, you can. Do you want a counter stair here? Oh, it's playing horribly here. But as you see, it's running just fine. Alright, okay. So, that's working. Nintendo 64 and ports. Uh, well, let's check out the Team ZT installer, make sure that worked. Let's just try some G.I. Joe really quick, make sure that boots up. All right, that works. There's a Cobra. <laughs> and Nintendo 64. Let's try Beetle Racing. New Pin Auto is correct. Cancel. I want to um, change the video mode. Let's go all the way down. Get some non-laggy experience here. So there are some issues with the Nintendo 64 right now that they're working on in RetroPie. It has nothing to do with this particular image, whether you're running Motion Blue version 6 or straight brand new RetroPie. There are some stability issues with Nintendo 64. I also found some issues with Neo Geo as well. So these things are going to get sorted out shortly, but... Um, ETA Prime did a video on, on Nintendo 64 and his was running way better than mine. 
And a lot of that is because he, A, was overclocked slightly more than I was, and B, his resolution was very low. So, you know, anytime you lower the resolution, you can definitely get Nintendo 64 to run better. One player. a lot of decisions to make. I don't know if I made the correct ones. Welcome to Coventry Co. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh. It's actually a pretty good racing game and if anyone's interested. Oh yeah. Oh, that wasn't so good. <laughs> I was doing okay there for a second. Got my red beetle. A little bit of glitch there. All right, so that works. Okay, so there you have it, the Team ZT. Um, it has that installer on it. It has all the scripts on it you're gonna want. There's also an attract mode to get into if you wanna set up a track mode. A lot of other stuff. The default themes, it doesn't look like it comes with many themes. Yeah, so you can you could just download new themes though really easily. Um, should work with most systems. Everything's going good there. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my old Pi, not the new Pi, the 1.2 gigahertz Pi, and just see if it runs. I think it should, so let's go ahead and give that a shot. So that's cool. I have this booting into the old Pi 3, the 1.2 gigahertz Pi, and... It remembered my controller config as we just got in, and it has the same games on there. So let's go ahead and play our Cobra Commander like we did last time. Let's just do Aliens, for example. And let's see if a game launches really quick. Because that's kind of cool that this is backwards compatible. So, so far it's not forwards compatible. Okay, that's cool. It's working. So last test, I'm going to reboot it up with the brand new Pi now that we booted it up with the old Pi. Just to double, double, double check. All right, and it's booting, and it should remember my controller again. Cool. So that's nice to know, right, that you can go in. Once you start with the stretch, you should be able to go in between stretch and Jesse, the old Pi. Um, and let's just load up a game to confirm that. Cool. Cool. So there you have it. This was a video showing you how to set up the Team ZT and PDARC, a, a bunch of people, a lot of coll collaborators and uh, creators. Uh, even David Marty helped with this with his scripts from Motion Blue. So cool to see a lot of teamwork there, releasing some cool stuff. This is a great base image. You get all the scripts, a track mode. It's fairly slim as well. This isn't a large download. And then all you got to do is either, uh, there's a couple ways to add your ROMs, you know, through USB, through the through the internet, get ROM packs, Team ZT installer, many different ways to do that. Um, and once you set it up, it should be rocking and rolling. That said, a couple cautions being that Nintendo 64 is a little iffy. I also had some problems in Neo Geo as well that I need to explore some things of why these games aren't running. But PlayStation worked fine. Nintendo 64 uh, works the first time. That's some issues there. Super Nintendo worked fine. Atari worked fine. So um, sounds like... Uh, the Libretro cores, for the most part, are fine. It's just some other things that are still having some issues. With all that said, though, another great base image, another great option. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, comment below. If you could, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next one.